Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're having a great day. I have an incredible tool today that's gonna to save you a lot of time if you use Cinema 4D and Redshift. So this is a plugin that was created by my friend Jerome, and I'm gonna put a link below to his work, but he's a phenomenal programmer. And Jerome has created this really amazing plugin, which is called Text Tomato. And it's a one-click solution to bring in all kinds of PBR textures and have them laid out automatically. So it's gonna save you a lot of time. So if you've ever used TurboSquid, you probably downloaded something that came in as a OBJ or a FBX, and you probably had a giant folder full of textures. So I have this gun that I'm gonna show you on TurboSquid, this is a freebie. I also have this um, download that I found on Fab, and this is a free medieval banquet, and these come as separate objects, and they have a ton of different textures, so it's a bit of a mess. So let's say that you download these, and I'll start with this wooden beer stein here. So I have the FBX, and then I have base color, AO, bump, displacement, cavity, normal, gloss, specular, roughness. And I'm gonna bring in the FBX, I'll go ahead and bring this forward here. And we have a texture that came along with it and it probably has UVs, but there are no textures included here. So we would have to go in and grab all of these maps, bring them in. We'd have to hit no to all of these different pop-ups. And then we would have all these textures and we'd have to kind of figure out what goes where, which is kind of annoying. And I always kind of forget exactly which one gets piped in where. Um, let's see, we're gonna bring our normal down here and we gotta add a displacement. So we gotta find some nodes. We also need to add a bump. So we'll add a bump map. Then we gotta find our bump texture. So you can see that this is just gonna take a long time to kind of sort out and get everything plugged into the right spots, right? So it's just kind of a pain in the neck. And that is where this plugin comes in handy. That's gonna basically take all of these chores and it's gonna make it instant. So let's go ahead and show you how to do that. We're gonna go to our extensions and we're gonna to go to Text Tomato. Now there are a lot of features here. You can import textures from base, and then you're gonna open up all these different options. These are a bit more manual and very uh, use case specific, but for almost all the cases, I just leave it on import textures from folder, and then I put the folder structure here and I import it, so it's just one click. So basically, just go to your folder, wherever it is, you copy that location on your hard drive, paste it in here, hit import, and you're done just within one click and one second, you have brought in all those textures and everything is linked up properly. It's included the displacement and the bumps. It's even given you some rotate, offset, and scale. And it's even gone to the base and added a color correction node in between it so you can color correct this base map very quickly and easily. So it's done all of that and it has done it super quick. So now all we have to do is take this texture, drag and drop it on top of the other one while holding Alt, and it will replace that one, and then you are done. And it really is as fast as that. So I'm gonna show you the gun next. And just a really quick note, um, a lot of these textures come with different naming conventions. So maybe they won't have this underscore, maybe they'll have a dash, or they won't have either, or the base and the color won't have a underscore in between it. This plugin has accounted for a ton of different naming conventions. So pretty much whatever uh, file structure you have and naming convention, it will pick up on that and it shouldn't be a problem. So it's a very smart plugin when it comes to that. All right, so let's grab this gun. We'll drag it in here. All right, so we'll go to our extensions, text tomato, and then we'll go back to this textures folder. We'll, we'll copy that file location. We'll paste it into here and we'll hit import textures. And then we'll drag and drop it onto the other texture while holding alt to replace it and we are done. So you can see how incredibly fast and easy it is to use. I really wish that I had had this many, many years ago. It's an incredible tool and it saves so much time. So, all right, this is available now at the Pixel Lab. You can grab it. If you're using it for commercial work, we have it for sale on there. If you're using this for personal use, if you're using it as a student or for a nonprofit, just go ahead and give me a shout and I can hook you up with a copy. We would love to make sure that everybody has access to this. Huge shout out again to Jerome for creating this incredible plugin. I'll put his link below as well, so check him out. All right, thanks for following along at the Pixel Lab. We'll talk to you next time. Ciao.